Okay, welcome out everyone. Uh, I'm going to be discussing that tonight how I sold over 200 products and generated over $1,500. Uh, dollars uh, online in revenue uh, without having to talk to anyone, without having to pitch anyone, uh, without having to recruit or anything like that. Uh, something I actually had just tested out and it turned out to be kind of profitable. That's always a good thing. Uh, what we're going to discuss tonight is the very platform that I used uh, to create uh, these sales. Actually, my sales are closer to 250 now. Not quite 250, probably 230, 235, um, and my revenue is at about 550, five, or 1550, 1560. Uh, so we're going to talk about the very platform I use to create that. In addition, in addition, we're going to talk about how you can use the same platform to market to any niche. So if you are in the uh, nursing niche, or if you're in the uh, poodle niche, or uh, skydiving niche or whatever you can market to different people using the same platform uh, in addition to that uh, we're going to talk about some other platforms you can use to do similar things uh, and how you can get involved with me and learn more in-depth training and so hopefully i can bring some value to you tonight and uh, i encourage you to take notes and prepare to implement this what you're going to learn for me tonight is something you can implement within the next 24 hours and be on your way to create uh, a few hundred dollars or several thousands of dollars depending on what you want to do I know we've got different people on here uh, with different goals some people want to replace their uh, income some people want to supplement their income uh, I talked to a guy he hit me up the other day and said hey I'm a church planner and, you know, I'm planning this church, but I need extra money to be able to do that. And so he's interested in what we're doing. And so all kinds of different people on here tonight looking for different things and for different goals. Hopefully we can help you to see the big picture and see how you can reach those goals. So who is this guy, Matt Bebout, that's doing this presentation tonight? Uh, well, up here in the left hand corner, uh, you'll see my children. Uh, I got five children ranging from ages 21 all the way down to two years old uh, so yeah I started early and I started late as well and I've got them everywhere in between 21 uh, my son up here in the middle is going to be 21 in November uh, my daughter just turned 17 back in March uh, my stepson over here Jeremiah he will be uh, 15 in September my daughter here with my son is uh, just turned two back in February. I about forgot. And then my other son, he is going to be five in November as well. And of course, there in the middle is my beautiful bride. And there's me and my wife. Uh, that's just a little bit to let you know that I'm a real person. Most of you probably know me from Facebook or maybe even off of Facebook. Uh, but there's some that might be watching this recording or might be on here that don't so I want you to know that about me just a little bit about my history I've been online for about two years uh, trying to crack the code so to speak trying to earn a living uh, prior to that I struggled in offline marketing uh, mainly MLM network marketing companies I did everything from sell juices I was with a company where you could download audio uh, you could actually download music uh, I have sold laundry soap uh, cell phone service long distance uh, and that's just the name of few and I just kept jumping from company to company uh, I didn't know there was a better way uh, I didn't know that you could do things other than recruit people until I came online and then even in the, then it took me probably over a year to realize man there's more to this online arena than just trying to recruit people uh, through Facebook and social media like Twitter and different things like that uh, I've, I've had maybe made a couple thousand, uh, but, but for the most part, I had struggled when I was offline. Uh, and it wasn't until I really came online that I began to have a few breakthroughs here and there and began to see uh, the income uh, increase. Uh, actually, part of that, even a couple thousand, has probably been created online uh, because I was kind of in transition and that type of thing. Uh, but until I realized I didn't have to build teams, I didn't have to like buy a product and then try to resell it. 
uh, and I didn't have to recruit or motiv or motivate another team or a team of people or others to be successful. Uh, and then that's when I really began to have my breakthrough. That's when things started to click. That's when I said, man, there's more to this. And when I realized that I didn't have to do those things is when I saw uh, the success begin to start happening and my mindset begin to shift. Uh, my foundation is foundational to everything I do on and offline. I'm a person of integrity. Uh, and so I don't mind saying that I am a Christian and without Christ in my life and great mentors, I would have I would already have given up. I didn't have him in my life and I didn't have men uh, come alongside of me and encourage me and women as well. Uh, definitely my wife. Uh, then I probably wouldn't be online still. Uh, but I knew that I could make some money. And so that's why I kept plugging away at it. Here, here's some of my mentors. All these guys have been instrumental in me getting to the point that I'm at right now. Up in the left is uh, Patrick Malone. Uh, he, me and him uh, got to meet all these guys. I actually got to meet in uh, Houston at a mastermind. Up on the right, Jermaine Steele. And then down at the bottom, Nate O'Brien. Uh, and so it was encouraging to meet these guys because these guys are all six-figure earners. And I really uh, take stock in what they say and the and direction they point me in because I know that they've already arrived there. And so a lot of the skills I show you is just because other people has come along and told me that I could learn them and I could do it. And I'm sure you're the same way. Uh, you've had people probably on both sides that says, hey, you can't do this. And probably some that have said, yeah, you can do it. Uh, and so I'm in the same boat. The, the platform that I use, I didn't mean to actually throw that up there yet. And the, what I'm mainly going to talk about to tonight is a company si or a website similar to Teespring, uh, similar to uh, other things like Cafe Press, but somewhat different. Uh, and it's called T-Chip, T-E-C-H-I-P dot com. Uh, you definitely can sell sweatshirts and T-shirts on there. Uh, one of the niches and the areas I've profited, profited in, though, is uh, selling mugs and cell phone cases. I was making some money. I made, I don't know, about 1500 or so uh, on Teespring. It took me a couple months to do that. I made 1500 on here in about two weeks. Uh, so, you know, probably a, a tenth of the time or an eighth of the, of the time it took me to do it on Teespring. I did it on here. And so, uh, again, it was a test because I was a little gun shy because I hadn't made what I wanted to make on Teespring. I made money. Like I said, uh, my revenue was close to fifteen hundred. Uh, so I was doing decent with it, but not where I wanted to be. Uh, and so this tea chip come along. And so I uh, snatched it up and began to test out on it. And so you might be asking yourself, well, where does he market this stuff? Where does he uh, market these products? Uh, you know, so because there's so many different places you can market them uh, and, you know, se sell this stuff. Uh, one of the main places that I use is Facebook because Facebook is definitely very. Uh, oh, give me just a second. I think I messed, went the wrong way. Give me just a second. Let me go back to something here. Previous, previous, previous. Okay, I think, yeah. No, I, I actually want to talk about this first. I got out of my notes. Uh, these are just some screenshots of what I have uh, been able to accomplish. Uh, this screenshot up here in the right is as of about 5.30 tonight. Uh, this is my total profit in just a couple of weeks. Uh, actually, when I was in Hawaii and a mastermind with Nate O'Brien and it looks like Vari's on here, too. Good to have you. Uh, when I was out there with them guys, uh, I was like getting excited because I was about to hit the 100 sell mark. Uh, well, you see now I'm at 238. Uh, and here's some other screenshots of thing, things that were, you know, going this one out down here in the middle is off of one product. I'm selling five or 10 different products on there. Uh, but this one in the middle is definitely my biggest seller. Set seller. And uh, I've sold uh, at this point, like I said, this screenshot was roughly about 530 or 6 tonight. 
uh, total profit 662.14 with total 131 sales. And that's just in one uh, product. Uh, as you can see, it's about uh, not quite half uh, of what my total profit is. So it was definitely a, a, definitely a profitable niche. Uh, now, you guys can do this with any kind of niches. Let me get some conversation going here. Someone uh, chime in in the chat box. What are some niches that you think that you could uh, market a cell phone or you could market a uh, or a cell phone case to rather or that you could market these mugs to? What's some niches you think would be good? Just go ahead and chime in the box there. I'm trying to get my chat open here. Give me just a second. Well, if you're if the ends are commenting, I'm not seeing them. Let me try to go back here and see if I can get it pulled back up. Why is this not pulling up? There we go. Here we go. I'm sorry. Okay. So technology. It's not always my friend. Uh, I apologize for that. Uh, grandmas for mugs. Boxing. Yeah, those are good, Vari. Uh, Hairstylist. Okay. I love the 80s. It's pretty broad, but I'm sure I could sell more mugs. Sell some mugs. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Brian, on that, I, I with Teespring, I had a niche that I... Uh, it wasn't uh, 80s, but it was people who were going to be 40 this year, and I did pretty good on Teespring uh, with that. Of course, you got to be careful with Facebook's advertising because they're kind of picky like that. Uh, people who love coffee, boom, yeah, exactly. Lord of the Rings, golfers, inspiration, uh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, those are some great uh, niches. Uh, I'm going to be giving this away to you, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the one that I did 130 in. Uh, sales because I'm actually going to give you the file just for being on here with me. I'm going to give you the actual uh, PNG file so that you can go out and test it if you want. Uh, but that was social workers. I had a shirt for social workers. Now, it was controversial for some. It said something to the effect, uh, next time do what your social worker told you to do to begin with. <laughs> now, I thought it was funny. Uh, most people thought it was funny, as you can tell by my sales, but for whatever reason, uh, a few people said social workers are to empower people to make wise decisions, not tell them what to do, which it was a, it was a shirt and it was a joke. So uh, anyhow, uh, anybody else think of any niches that would be profitable with cell phone cases or, uh, yeah, uh, mugs or even T-shirts as far as that goes? Uh, because actually, T-Chip, some people will disagree. You'll have to do your own research and make your own decision. But with T-Chip, you can uh, do shirts cheaper than you can do on Teespring. Uh, I launched one earlier today that I'm going to test out. Uh, actually, I was in the process of running some ads to it, and I had to run to town, and then I had to prepare for this webinar. So I've got the shirt launched, but I haven't got any traffic running to it yet. Uh, but, yeah, there's so many different things you can do. Uh, with that, uh, you just have to really think, uh, think outside the box, think about what your particular niche is. Another one that I had quite a bit of success with, uh, it's, it's been, it seems to be somewhat saturated, and that's nurses. I did pretty good with nurses as well, uh, but that's uh, something that you can do something with. Now, you could probably tell from what the discussion was that, uh, or my slides, that my main advertising platforms that I've been using to make these kinds of sales has been Facebook and somewhat Twitter. 
not a lot of Twitter, mainly probably 99% Facebook. Uh, I haven't been tracking Twitter enough to see if I really even got sales off of Twitter. But I definitely got sales off of Facebook. And, uh, you know, again, uh, one of them I did was a social worker. And I, I'll tell you, I probably had 20 to 30 sales on Teespring. Uh, minimal success by the time I bought the design and I ran traffic and, uh, you know, took out my uh, little profit. I probably maybe made, you know, 100 bucks or something, 200 bucks, come close to probably breaking even. Uh, and like I said, with that and all the other ones, it took me about at least two months, maybe longer, to try to turn turn the, into that 1500 online uh, with Teespring. And I did that much revenue with T-Chip in about two weeks. Uh, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean you can't do that with Teespring. Uh, summer's coming up. T-shirts are hot. Uh, so I encourage you to go ahead and try to sell T-shirts as well, like I just told you. I started one. Here's a little bit of the engagement and the reason I'm seeing the results that I'm seeing. Over here on the left is the type of clicks that I'm getting. That means the type, what it's costing me to have someone interact with my ads on Facebook. Most of the time, I've got gotten it so uh, skilled down and honed down that most of the time, I can get, get it at 10 cents or under. There are a few little niches uh, that I'm still struggling with, kind of mastering or whatever you might say, and those might be 12 to 15 cents, or if I'm really way off, uh, you know, I may be 15 to 20 cents, and of course, I don't let those ads run very long, uh, but that's just uh, something that I took a screenshot of today of some of my engagement. Uh, with the, I think it, with the exception of this one cent clink in the middle, uh, which is a video that I was running to invite people to this webinar, a video ad, uh, which that's a little nugget I just dropped for you as well, in case you didn't catch that. Uh, video ads are hot. Uh, if you want to get one cent clicks, uh, get your video in front of people and, and that type of thing, you can definitely do that with video advertising on Facebook. This is just one of my niches, one of my fan pages this week, 227 likes, 101,000 uh, engagement. Uh, this one up here up in the right hand corner uh, this is the one where I sold all of those uh, social workers 1,780 shares 6,400 plus likes uh, of course you'll see I also reached 244,000 people uh, and so it's a numbers game uh, this one was one of my most encouraging campaigns uh, definitely uh, and you can do that with different niches on, on Facebook. I will tell you, as I'm thinking about that, I've got it in my notes to share with you guys. If you are researching a niche, you want to really nail that down to specifics. And what do I mean by that? If you say, hey, I want to market to people who have dogs, you want to market to people who have poodles or pit bulls or chihuahuas. You don't want to just say, in other words, you don't want to create a shirt or a mug that says, I love dogs. Now, you might sell some, you might not. More than likely, it's too too broad, and so you want to narrow that down to, I love my chihuahua, or I love my Pekingese, or, you know, something like that, uh, you know, and even have a little fancy saying, you know, there, there's one that's been floating out around out there for a long time now. I, basically, it says, I love my my Pekingese, or my, my poodle, and about two other people, or something like that. <coughs> So, uh, you know, that's some ideas there for you. Just remember, if you're trying to pick a niche, if you're trying to pick something to market to, uh, you want to be uh, spe you want to be really specific. You can tell by using social workers. Another great niche I'll give you guys is uh, occupations: social worker, firefighter, engineer, uh, <coughs> different things like that. Hobbies. Uh, Golfing, fishing, uh, you know, different things like that. I've got a hobby. Well, I've got one that is a hobby, but it's a passion, a hobby I'm running. I've got another one that is uh, specific to an, an occupation that's doing well. And I've got this social worker that's doing well. There's some, some others that's doing all right, but those are three different categories. 
occupations, hobbies, and uh, I forgot what the other one was I said. Uh, but anyhow, you guys heard it, so that's good. Twitter, that's another one. I just went out here to Twitter just to give you an idea of what you guys can do. <clears throat> and I picked uh, nursing, and I typed in the word nursing, and it helped me. You know how it suggests something? Nursing counts. Uh, and this is just a screenshot of what I could get in my screenshot of nursing. Uh, and you see there's about six or so there in just that little screenshot, not to mention if I would have scrolled down. Uh, but you can go out there. You can set up. Well, you can set up Twitter ads now. Now, I haven't ever done that. I'm actually thinking about uh, trying that actually tonight maybe. Uh, I don't know yet. I just want to see what I can do with them. And you try it. If you burn, crash and burn. You get up, back up, and you either go again or you try something different. It's the only way you learn. That's the only way you're going to be successful online is you have to implement things that you're learning. And so I hope you guys are taking good notes right now. I hope you guys are thinking about how you can implement this. I hope your wheels are turning about some niches that you can market to. Those of you that have tried Teespring and haven't been that successful, uh, maybe you can take those uh, campaigns you already did. That's what I did. I just recently bought some more stuff some more uh, designs but I had been using designs I already had and so hopefully you can use those if not you can go out uh, and get you a design and go to work with it but what you can do is you can post I mean hashtags are powerful when someone's looking for something that's like I want to look up nurse stuff you know like this one was nursing counts you use hashtags like nurses rock nursing counts uh, this week I believe was nurse week you say National Nurse Week and, you know, post a hashtag or whatever your niche may be, uh, that can be pretty powerful. I just haven't really utilized Twitter enough to uh, give you a good uh, report on it or give you a thorough report. I, I know that it works and I know a lot of people are using it. And so that's what you can do with that. What I want to do is take just a couple moments before we drop off of here. Uh, I'm going to do a live demonstration of kind of how I would do some targeting on Facebook. I'm not going to get into great detail, uh, but I do want to uh, just give you a general idea of how you can do targeting on Facebook. Uh, before I do, is there anyone that has any questions? I want to go ahead. Uh, does the design have to be a PNG file? I use PNG files. Uh, I can't say for sure. It seems like there's another design that uh, another file type that uh, yeah I know there is I think I uploaded a picture of myself on there just to play around with it so I I think you can do other than PNG files I think you can do other things too I just always use PNG files uh, and so that's what I would recommend but you can go to tchip.com and do some research on there and it'll tell you what what they accept Thanks, Vari. I appreciate that. Uh, I like the encouragement for sure. Uh, anyone else have any questions? I want to get any of your questions answered that you might have or try to get those answered. Okay. Well, if not, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, jump over here on Facebook and pull up a Facebook here let me see which one I got pulled up there it is I've already got uh, well come on now how many designs do I get at a time I would say now here's what I would would tell you is best and this is because if you get like one or two designs and those crash and burn and you don't make a sale then you're like bummed out and you're like oh man now what am I gonna do I only got like one or two sales uh, or I mean I got these one or two designs and they both flopped uh, and then you're stuck uh, I recommend at a minimum of five if you're able to do it I would say go as high as ten uh, but I would recommend trying to run about five campaigns at a time for sure uh, because, uh, you know, that's just a good place to start. You can do less just to play around with it. Fortunately, I already had the design, so I wasn't out any money. So I kind of put a few in there at a time. 
uh, but then I began to making money, and so then I began to put more in there, and then I actually uh, got a, uh, my designer to create some that I had some ideas for, and so uh, that is strictly up to you, but I would recommend a minimum of five uh, and closer to ten if you're able to do that. Okay, what I'm going to do is show you just something briefly back here. I'm not going to go into great detail, but I just want to add, give you guys some value, uh, you know, because we're, I know that I didn't jump out of the gate and getting five cent, two cent clicks. Matter of fact, I scratch my head and say, wow, how am I getting five cent and two cent clicks? Uh, so I'm still kind of amazed at that sometimes, how I'm getting under most of my campaigns. I can definitely get under 10 cents. Most of them, I, I can get under five cents. Uh, this is just going to be one technique I use. Uh, let me go ahead and clear this out. United States. Uh, we're going to start with the niche that I've been talking a lot about, and we're going to say nurses or nursing. Let's see here, nursing. Okay, why is it not bringing anything up? Am I, oh, come on now. Just a minute. Lost my screen for a second. Sorry, I got one of those silly laptops that when you slide your slide your finger sideways, it does weird stuff. It may be because I've taken the United States away or something. Let me add the United States back because there's sometimes some interest that you cannot use, uh, you cannot research except if you're doing the United States. What is going on here? Well, it usually does a, select, a suggestion box. I'm going to reload the page, see what happens. I'm not really for sure why it's not. There we go. Some reason it wasn't wanting to make a suggestion for me, so maybe it, I may have left it idle for too long. There we go. So let's say you want to look at nurses, okay? And so you're like, okay, there's nursing, and you're like, okay, how am I going to target this ad to nurses? What am I going to do to uh, reach out to nurses? Let me go over here to demographics. Well, we can see a couple of things. One, we see that 91% uh, of them are women. And we also see in the demographics that in that age range in the United States, 18 plus, uh, that the biggest portion is 25 to uh, 54. Now, what we can also do is look at page likes. Now, here's where it really gets really exciting because that's what I do. I look at page likes and I look at this in an affinity score over here in the corner. And it says five times, 2.6 times, 2.4 you know, that's all right, uh, but watch this. I'm going to take that mighty nurse, and I'm going to, like, drive that niche down deeper. I'm going to drive the research down deeper and get it more uh, pinpointed. So let's go to mighty nurse. Or let's not because, well, it's going to do what it did before probably. Oh, you're killing me, Facebook. You're killing me. Let's try another one then. Nurses Rock, uh, Woman Freebies, Funny Nurses. Let's try that one. It seems like I've used that one before because, like I said, nurse. Funny Nurses. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get rid of this nursing. And what it's going to do, look at that. Boom. Look at that affinity score. 40.8, 45, 34, 48.4, uh, 35.7. Uh, there you go. Uh, Scrubs Magazines, uh, Nursing Drug Handbook, uh, Funny Nurses, AllNurses.com. Now, you're not going to get all those on Facebook. For whatever reason, they tell you that they like them in here. Then you go to run an ad, and you can't get, get them all to run. But you're going to get a big percentage of them. Trust me, I, I, can, I can pretty well get $0.05, cent, three cent, two cent clicks 
on nurses all day long. I've narrowed it down so good that I can pretty well uh, get five cent and under nursing clicks. So see how powerful that is? Uh, someone comment in the chat. Uh, anybody see the power of just rather than just saying nursing, you say you go out here and you drive that deeper? Does that make sense, everyone? Uh, Carrie, you can get those on Fiverr. You can get them on Odesk. Uh, there's all kinds of places to get, uh, you know, get uh, designs. She was asking where you can get designs. Uh, but see, that's... Thanks, Barry. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, I, I'm glad to ha have everyone on here. Appreciate the encouraging words. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to interact with you guys and talk to you guys when uh, I've got some uh, feedback and everything. So, yeah, uh, I mean, that's powerful. That's That was one of my, if I had to say I had a breakthrough uh, after spending hundreds and thousands of dollars online and trying to figure out how to run Facebook ads, try to figure out how I could get away from 15 and 20 cent clicks. It was when I found out about page likes. I mean, well, page likes, but in particular this affinity score and how you could really drive that down deep and so uh, it really like was a breakthrough from me I have to I have to give a shout out to where shout outs are due uh, Patrick Malone was uh, instrumental in that uh, as well as uh, some other folks like Jermaine Steele uh, basically all the mentors I showed you earlier was instrumental in that uh, but you know now I have a skill set now that Think about this, guys. I want you just to get the big picture of this. I don't want you just to think about uh, cups and I don't want or mugs, and I want you just to think about T-shirts. I mean, you can make a six-figure income with just T-shirts, uh, but I want you to think about this. Think about the businesses. Think about the other products you could sell. Think about, hey, I've got a whatever 1957 Chevy. I want to market it online. I mean, think about that. You could, and maybe you don't have a 57 Chevy, but I'm using that as an example. I don't have one. I used to have one. Uh, that's another story for another time because I'm a little aggravated about how I had it and then didn't have it. But nonetheless, had a 57 Chevy two-door hardtop. It was a classic. It wasn't rebuilt or anything or redone yet, but I was going to someday. But anyhow, so just think about this. You go out there, and you've got in your local community – You've got a uh, beauty shop or something like that. Uh, and you go out here and you start looking, okay, what do women like, like in beauty? And you start looking at uh, different things like uh, beauty magazines or something like, uh, I don't know, hair or that. Again, you'd have to do the research like I'm doing. But you uh, go in there and you start to research that and you, you know, you're able to go to that hair salon and say, hey, I can get you guys uh, exposure on Facebook. I can get your name out in front of people on Facebook. Let me create a funnel for you. Let me uh, uh, drive traffic to it. You offer two dollars off a, a coloring or two dollars off a you know whatever it is a perm or whatever. I don't even know if they do perms anymore uh, for the ladies or whatever or a men's barber shop. Uh, I mean that is powerful. Just. So I want you guys to think about that. I want you to think outside of just selling physical products, although that can in itself give you a six-figure income. I want you to think about what you can do with Facebook ads when you master that for companies and for individuals and for churches, and the list goes on and on. It, it's powerful. This is one of my skill sets that I am excited that I have uh, because it's really helped me out financially, and I've been able to help others out and things like that. So I hope you can see the big picture with that. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys that value there and show you that uh, if you target the right audience, literally I've had people on my, on my Facebook walls say stuff like, man, that's like, for instance, uh, I was targeting people that was turning 40 this year. I had some Teespring shirts and people would comment, wow, I'm going to be turning 40 this year. How did they know? What what's going on here? And I had my targeting down to such a 
a, a fine tooth comb, uh, so to speak, uh, you know, right down. Of course, obviously, all I had to do is to target people who was 39 because <laughs> uh, I was running the ads last year. If they're 39 last year, we know they're going to be 40 this year. So that was somewhat easier of an ad to target. Uh, but just to give you an idea, I remember I think it was uh, you still on here, Brian. Brian mentioned something earlier. Uh, about if, if this was like Amazon Beast and and uh, well I did target those same 39 year olds uh, with the stuff I was selling on Amazon Brian and what I did was I put a 200 and like $50 remote control uh, R2D2 <laughs> and I, I just basically used that page to launch it from and I thought, I'm going to try this. I've been trying to sell Amazon products, these little, you know, $5, $10, $25, $25 products. I'm going to launch this $10 or $50 product. Never thought much about it. And then, boom, a sale came in. I was like, what? But I knew Star Trek, Star Wars, those true fans are, like, insane about that. They're like, I mean, they, like, eat, drink, and sleep Star Trek or Star Wars. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I like those too. I like Star Trek, and I, I'm excited about the new Avengers movie. But, uh, you know, it's powerful stuff to think about that. Uh, and so I want you guys to just kind of think outside of the box when you think about, you know, what you could do with that. Does anybody else here? Uh, yes, Brian, the higher the affinity number, the more targeted it is. Because when I first did that, I was just nursing it was like two or four or something like that and then it's like 40 or something what have we got let me just check here yeah 40 45 35 48 uh yeah so yeah that's uh, more targeted rather than just nursing so yeah the higher the infinity the more targeted you are going to get and of course that means more chance of putting money in your pocket Does anybody else have any other questions? Let me get a little feedback back from you guys. What else do you think you, you could do uh, on Facebook once you learn how to do things like what I'm showing you tonight, which is, of course, the uh, uh, T-chip? But in addition to that, once you learn how to market on Facebook, like especially with Facebook ads, what do you think you could do with that? What's some throw out some ideas? Just let's just brainstorm. Anybody got any? Maybe you want to keep it to yourself because you're like, no, man, I'm gonna take this now and run with it, and I'm not telling anybody about it. Uh, does anybody have some, an idea of something you could do on Facebook uh, with that? Build your product. Absolutely, uh, you could build a product uh, if you're. If your niche is the online marketing, uh, network marketing uh, people, exactly, Brian, exactly. Uh, build your product, teach others how to do it and charge for it. Uh, yeah, it's powerful stuff. Uh, and, and this is just one thing I use uh, for targeting is this uh, audience insights. I use several other things as well, uh, probably three or four different things to find my niches, find my target audience, uh, find out what they're looking at and what, you know, how I can put a product in front of them. Create your own clothing brand. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, think about what you could do uh, if you had your own uh, clothing brand uh, or you come up with something you're like, I'm going to try to use this uh, to target such and such audience. I mean, sometimes I see these fat guys online I'm like, man, why didn't I think of that? You know, it's like, really? I mean, that's the mind of an entrepreneur. And I want you guys to do that. That's one of the things I want to mention on this uh, is I don't want you guys thinking like hustlers. What I mean by hustlers, I mean that person. It's all right if you're not wanting to make six figures or, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars. Maybe you're just wanting to make a car payment. Maybe you're just wanting to bring your spouse home so they don't have to work. Maybe you're wanting to help your parents out with their mortgage. I don't know. Uh, but one thing you have to do is not just think like a hustler. What I mean by that, don't just chase the money. Don't just look for the next way to make 25 or 50 bucks. Uh, and I know we all need money. I understand that. But 
think long term, think entrepreneurial, think outside of the box, think about what the potential is. Uh, when you think about spending money, don't think just, oh, what am I going to get in return if I spend this money? But think about the knowledge you're going to gather by spending that money uh, rather than just, uh, you know, what you can do with it or whatever. Now, there's one other thing I want to share with you guys uh, because I have learned so much, because I have been mentored by guys like uh, Jermaine Steele, Nate O'Brien, uh, and because these guys have said, Matt, you have the knowledge, you have something to bring to the marketplace, now go bring it to the marketplace. And so that's what I want to do for you guys tonight. Uh, I'm just going to simply put it out there and let you guys decide. Uh, give me just a second here. Let's see here. I thought I saw someone else comment. Let me stop uh, sharing my screen for just a second. Okay, so should have stopped sharing my screen. What I want to offer you guys is an opportunity to work and get more uh, involved with me in this arena. Uh, I've put together a Facebook uh group where I'm going to do one-on-one -on -one coach or not one-on-one -on -one coaching, but group coaching. Uh, I've already got some people involved. What I'm going to do is really dig down deep into, you know, helping you find a niche, helping you see how Facebook ads and uh, other marketing techniques are greater and bigger than just, uh, you know, what you can do by selling a few mugs and selling a few t-shirts, but the potential you can do. And as I begin to learn things, I'm going to bring it back to the community and I'm going to bring the knowledge I already have and the more that I learn, I'm going to bring back. But what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to create, uh, you know, I don't know when that's going to be a month, two months, six months, you know, however it all falls into place. I'm getting ready to create a, uh, mastermind group, a mastermind membership that's going to be a monthly membership, but I'm not at that position right now. So what I want to offer you guys is an opportunity to jump on board with me, uh, kind of be the founding, uh, founding fathers and mothers, if you will, of this thing. And because you have trusted me and spent all this time on the webinar and because you guys, uh, you know, have hopefully faith in me or, you know, obviously faith in God first, but have, you know, faith in what I'm doing and, and see the potential with it. I want to go ahead and offer you guys an opportunity to get on board, to lock in a position where it's not a monthly fee. It's a one time uh, fee and you guys are able to be involved uh, with me straight through that. What it's going to be, it's 62 bucks. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the uh, chat. If it went through, sometimes it's weird how that stuff goes. There it is. It's supposed to went to all of you guys, hopefully. Uh, that's a link. If that's something you guys want to do, uh, jump aboard with me. Uh, I want to go ahead and get you guys started. I'm going to do more in-depth in and intense trainings on how to run Facebook ads, how, how to, uh, you know, connect connect with your audience and get before your audience, uh, how you can utilize sales funnels to actually offer these products for free. And by giving stuff away and giving these products for free, you can actually increase your sales. You can actually create uh, momentum and create more sales by uh, giving these things away, uh, like the shirts and the, you know, the mugs and, uh, phone cases and different things like that. And so that's all I have for you tonight. I appreciate you guys sticking with me. If that's something you want to do, <coughs> go ahead and follow that link. If you got questions about it, reach out to me on Facebook. And uh, I really enjoyed uh, spending time with you guys. You take care. We'll see you soon.